Hello YouTube and today I'm going to be showing you how to update your um, Intel HD graphic drivers even if they're out of date by a lot or if you get that error when you're updating them in the setup file, any error at all. Um, go ahead and open up the, um, oh wait sorry that's not it, um, open the, um, well, the website of, I'll put the website in the description actually but it's not going to look like this at the start. So I'm gonna put a website in the description where it says um all the driver things. So if I can actually find it, because this was not a planned video at all, I just decided I'd make it. So uh you're gonna go to the link I'll put in the description, and it's gonna use something that looks like this. Now when it says select the product family, go ahead and select um which one was it again? Graphics, then click laptop graphics drivers or netbook. And tablet but I think it's laptop for most people and Intel core processors with Intel HD graphics or Intel Celeron processors whichever one you have and then hit find and then the next bit is select an operating system so this is the operating system you have to find this out go to computer system properties and here you will see if it's 64 bit operating system or uh, and up here you'll see Windows 7 Home Premium or whichever one you have and if it's 64 bit. So if it's 64 bit, you go down to see Windows 7 Home Premium 64 bit. You click it and um, here you look for the latest one which is at the top most of the time, A10, you download it. Okay, so once it's downloaded, you're going to um, find it in the folder or the desktop or wherever you save it. And um, you have to um, drag that out onto your desktop or if it's already on your desktop, then that's good. So step two is you must have winrar so if you don't have winrar go ahead and download it. it's rarlabs.com i'll put a link in the description then again same method just find english or whatever your language is and 32 bit or 64 bit and again to find out the bit just go back in the video which i showed you how to do it so once that's downloaded you have to um find the one that you have and right click it and extract to and whatever that says so then you have to wait for this so let's give this some time. Now this works either way, but it works mainly. If, but first, before you do this, try just open up this file and install it. But if it gives you an error, then you should probably use this way. And I think this way is much safer. So keep in mind that you'll need to restart your computer. So if you're doing something important, do this when you're finished all the important things you're doing because you will need to restart. And if you're not necessarily new to computers, but if you you might get a bit of a fright because um at one stage your screen will start kind of flickering and it'll start going low res and stuff, but that's normal and it'll go away in a while. So then when the folder is on your desktop, it should look like this. But we have nothing. Don't click setup. I know everyone thinks that yeah, I just click setup. That's not what you do. So right click your desktop, hit personalize. I mean hit screen resolution, hit advanced settings. This is gonna call hit properties driver and now this is the thing this is the important bit click update driver but don't click search automatically this will actually downgrade your driver which is very bad browse my computer for driver software include subfolders and then hit browse okay and then you find on your desktop this is what it's going to look like find the desktop folder where it's in in my case when 70 so then click graphics and then click OK. So it says it should look like this: C users, Vitas, or whatever your name is, desktop, Windows 7, Vista, blah blah blah, or if you have a different operating system, something else, and graphics. And then you press um, next. And oh crap, I pressed the wrong thing. Sorry. So update driver, um, browse, click this. Let me pick from this device on my computer. Make sure include subfolders is checked. And when you press that, you're going to see something here. Okay. So the next thing you have to do is click have disk. Click browse, and click desktop, find the file Windows 7 Vista thing, graphics, IGDLH, and open. And press OK. And then this should be clicked on, and then press next, and it's going to finish it. I have to stop now.